the charge has finally finished after eight hours charging on six amp 10.3 kilowatt hours into the battery wow And welcome back, by the way, welcome back to another episode of Unplug TV Australia. The only Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV show on the worldwide interweb, where your host is half naked most of the time, talks about battery numbers and figures where nobody else gives a shit about. So the car is now fully charged and ready for our range test today. We will do the 60 km per hour range test, the same route as we did before with the old battery and we'll then compare the new battery to the old battery. I'm also keen to find out if we get 30% more range out of the battery. Okay, 99.2%, 35.4 ampere hours, off we go. 60 km per hour test. We don't have the same weather conditions as the last time. So today it's sunny, 30 degrees. The last time it was cloudy and only 25. I will leave the air condition off just for you guys, just so you see me sweating here in the car, suffering in the name of science. So we are starting right here at the crossing with 75 kilometers on the gasometer after a full charge. And the dog shows us 38 kilometers. I'm just waiting for this car over there to pass. We don't want to hold anyone up here with 60 kilometers per hour, right? Uh, we probably will. Let the test begin. 1.7 kilometers traveled. It is Sunday morning, so I hope everyone is still in church and there's less traffic. But from the amount of cars I can see already here, what's going on? Ah, oh, jeez, I've got cars lining up behind me and there are cars coming towards me. That is a bad, bad, bad test environment here. Not good. Look at this road. It's straight. You can look one and a half kilometers ahead and they are still staying behind you in a hundred kilometer zone behind a car driving 60 only. <sighs> well, I really needed to set the blinker to the left so these guys knew they could overtake me. They just stood behind me all the time, 60 kilometers an hour. That's insane. So 10 kilometers traveled, 64 kilometers on the gasometer here, and the dog shows us 35 kilometers. So the dog started with uh, 38 and is down to 35. Only three kilometers down, traveled 10 kilometers. The gasometer in the car is actually more precise. And traveled another five kilometers. The gasometer in the dog still shows 35, <laughs> so it doesn't go, it doesn't go down. <laughs> it's still on 35, we traveled 5 kilometers. The gum in the car shows 48, so this has come down quite substantially now. But the gum on the dog still 35. <laughs> 31 degrees outside. It's getting really warm in here now. These are the roads ahead you want for such a test. Long straight ahead, no elevation, just keep going. 60 kilometers an hour. And even doing some regen, 62.5% state of charge would be exactly the middle of the available capacity of the battery. I will drive it down to 61 as before, just to make sure we are fully depleted when we come home and the engine may kick in the last one kilometer or so and then I will stop the dog again to have the same measurement results as the first time. Mm -hmm. So we have traveled 20 kilometers 
and the gasometer of the dog still shows 35 kilometers to go so <laughs> 10 kilometers traveled hasn't gone down we lost only three kilometers so far but the gasometer on the car shows 39 left and the state of charge is 75 percent still 20 kilometers traveled 75 percent state of charge Woo! We are coming into the township of Cominia. It is limited to 60 kilometers an hour. Well, that works for me. So, in the last time with a test on 70% state of health battery, we had, it, we had to turn around here, the next left, in the New Newman Road, Newman Street. That's where we turned around at 61%. But now we are on 71.7% .7 and we can keep going. that the battery temperature is not rising we started with uh, 30 and 33 after the charge and this is still what we have right now after traveling 25 25.6 kilometers almost 31 kilometers now and finally 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 the gum of the dog has gone down and shows 27 kilometers the gum on the dog shows us 30 kilometers. We are at 62.7% state of charge. We are still going. We are still going 60 kilometers an hour. I hope this road never ends. But we are at 61.3%, so I will stop the car now here and then we turn around guys so we are in the middle of our trip now we've we've driven down the battery 50% of the available capacity we have traveled 32.6 kilometers so far so in theory we should be able to do another 30 kilometers and would get almost would get over 60 kilometers out of the battery I'm going the same way back now to um, compensate against elevation and wind and all this kind of stuff 60 kilometers an hour I hope there's not too much traffic it is crazy this morning where are people going at Sunday morning okay gasometer on the dog shows us 26 so this one went down 13 kilometers the gasometer here shows us 29 and we had uh, 75 on the clock 36 kilometers down <laughs> and 32 traveled so not too bad much more precisely than this one here and the dog the dog is just out of whack totally okay let's go back smooth acceleration guys it is warm look at this crazy weather okay and we are back on the 60 kilometer per hour going back home oh yeah I'm watching the overall consumption of the car while driving on this conditions here. It seems to be um, around 135 watt hours per kilometer. So that is pretty low of course, but I mean we are driving only 60, so well, no surprise there. I don't know, but I, I feel like it feels like my shirt sticks to the seat. 40 kilometers on POV. The dog shows us 18 kilometers. The car shows us 18 kilometers too. And we are down to 50.7% state of charge. So we are now at 50 kilometers traveled on pure electric. The dog shows us 9 kilometers left. Gasometer on the car shows us 9 kilometer left. Still got and we are on 39.2% state of charge. We are coming to the end of the test. We are at 31.4% state of charge. So the engine will kick in the next couple of meters, kilometers, I don't know. Let's have a quick look. We have done 56.1 kilometers so far. 
on pure electric have uh, three kilometers on the gun in the dog and two kilometers on the car's dashboard okay so I just uh, stopped live data the engine has kicked in after I stopped recording this last scene so 56.6 kilometers all in total turning on the aircon now it's getting a little bit too warm here and I will pull out the old statistics of the first test for the 60 kilometer test and we compare the trip cards that the battery cooling has not kicked in yet in fact the temperature actually went down by one degree so I'm not sure what happened there but the fan is still on zero so there's no cooling happening someone recently commented thanks for wearing a shirt so I'm um, Actually, I don't know. This comparison of trip cards, is this actually useful for you or is it a waste of time to do that? If you don't get any information out of it, I can just skip this part if you... It is a lot of work, you know, you need, I need to screenshot all the trips, stitch them together in this program and then have them here on the laptop and talk about it and all this. If they are not useful, um, I totally understand. It's a lot of numbers. Okay guys, so very quickly <laughs> the comparison of the two trips. One is on the left hand side with a 70% state of health battery and the new battery is on the right hand side. You know, the dog gets the information of the elevation from the mobile phone's GPS. And I don't know why they are so different here in these two scenarios because we've driven the same distance. Even this one was longer, so it should be showing more elevation but same sportive driving style as always um, almost the same figures here for Clyde region and stop time so the first test with the old battery 70% set of charge was 40 kilometers and the second test was 56 kilometers so quite a difference in EV driving on and here the difference between the old battery and the new battery. We have driven this one today from 35 ampere hours down to 11 until the engine kicked in. And the old battery actually went down to 8.1 ampere hours. Um, you can see the difference between the lowest voltage and the highest voltage cell in the battery pack was here 35 millivolt. This situation in the new battery looks far more stable than in the old one. Almost the same temperature. Okay, let's have a look at the consumption then. Uh, old battery 14.3 kilowatt hours and the new one a little bit lower. But this could be due to different wind conditions, you know. And I, I still think the PHEV uses a lot of energy while driving on pure 60 kilometers an hour. That's 140 watt hours per kilometer. This is what other electric vehicles use on 100 kilometers an hour. So the Hyundai Ioniq, for example, average 140, 150 watt hours per kilometer on highway speeds. And the PHEV has the same consumption on 60 kilometers an hour. Well, it's a big car, it's a little bit boxy, so it uses more energy, of course. But guys, the most interesting part is that what we can see is between these two batteries now and the available kilometers we can travel with it. Have a look at this, 56 kilometers today with a new battery and only 40 kilometers with the old battery. And this is pretty much exactly 70% to 100%. So it really reflects the state of health of the battery, how far you can travel. And this only supports the theory that you as a driver get more efficient while the car loses range and you think, oh, it can't be, it must be me. I need to drive more efficiently and um, take my foot off the accelerator earlier and let it more let it more coast and everything so you get more efficient while the car gets more inefficient and this is exactly 
50, 56.3 uh, is 100%, so 10% is 5.6 times 3, 15. That is interesting. So, <laughs> until now it was a theory, but now we can see it's actually true. If you lose capacity in your car, you lose range, but you as a driver get more efficient. <laughs> Okay guys, with this amazing result, I'll leave this all with you again. As always guys, thanks for watching, thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia, signing off. You stay charged and we will see us, see you in the next video um, tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.